Welcome to Crystal Maker 10. In this tutorial, we're going to investigate ways of taking a crystal structure in Crystal Maker and simulating its diffraction properties. To do this, we're going to need to use two separate programs. These are our Crystal Diffract 6 software and our Single Crystal 3 software. These are companion programs designed to work with Crystal Maker to allow you to explore diffraction in more detail. I'm going to start off here with a molecular crystal and I'd like to simulate its powder diffraction pattern. Now to do this I can go to the program's calculate menu and at the bottom of the menu we have a diffraction pattern submenu and I'm going to choose the powder command. Now this launches Crystal Diffract, which needs to be installed on your system already. And we have a new Crystal Diffract window. You can see here that we have a powder diffraction pattern. And on the left, uh, in this patterns list, we have our crystal. And it's important to emphasize that as with Crystal Maker, Crystal Diffract is a multi-structure program. So you can load multiple diffraction patterns into a Crystal Diffract window you can display them simultaneously or you can browse through them. I'm going to hide the patterns list just to make a little bit more space. Now the first thing we might want to do is to label the peaks in our simulated diffraction pattern. And we can do that by going to this format inspector. We'll go down to labels and we'll turn on the show labels command. And you can customize what is displayed in a label. Currently we're showing Miller indices. Now, different sorts of diffraction are possible using this program. If we go to the diffraction menu, you can change the radiation type, X-rays, neutrons, electrons. And we have some presets for energy dispersive X-rays and time of flight neutron diffraction. You can also customize the way in which the axes are displayed. You can customize the peak function, the wavelength. And there are many parameters associated with the sample and the diffraction experiment that can be customized interactively using the parameters group on the right. We won't spend much time doing that here. Suffice to say that we'll have a look at the diffraction in a little bit more detail. We can expand our diffraction pattern. We can scroll. We can use the little scroller up here to change the range of diffraction that is shown on the screen and you can move the mouse over peaks to highlight their positions. Uh, highlighted peaks have a peak tip, which you can expand to get a little bit more information on the peak. You can also double click a peak and its position is then shown in this reflections list at the bottom of the screen together with a bit more information. Crystal Diffract is designed as a workbench application to rapidly simulate diffraction data and it will also allow you to compare simulated data with observed data, which is a very quick way of characterizing results from a diffraction experiment. You can make changes to your structure either in Crystal Diffract or in Crystal Maker and compare those changes with the original diffraction pattern. You can measure the diffraction pattern by clicking with the cursor and measuring positions. There is also an interactive ruler which allows you to measure distances and widths of the peaks interactively. Uh, and we have a loop which allows you to work uh, uh, with a relatively small screen but to see things in great detail without having to keep scrolling or zooming. Let's say we're interested now in a single crystal diffraction. Again, we can go to the Calculate menu and we can go down to our Diffraction Pattern sub-menu and we'll choose the Single Crystal command. That creates uh, a new instance of the Single Crystal program. Now, this has a different interface. Let's expand our single crystal window for the moment. And here we have a simulated electron diffraction pattern. 
and on the right hand side uh, we can display a stereographic projection. Uh, we can customize this, we can show the stereo net and uh, we can show symmetry related planes and their poles. We can click and drag on the stereogram to change the orientation of our diffraction pattern and we can also click and drag on the diffraction pattern to rotate the pattern through very small increments. Now the first thing we might want to do is to label some of these peaks and you can choose how many peaks to label. Here we're just showing the most intense peaks. Now one of the real strengths of single crystal is that if we make this window slightly smaller then you can see that as we rotate our diffraction pattern the crystal structure also rotates. If I use the stereogram we can rotate through larger angles and we can see the crystal structure rotating through larger amounts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hide the uh, stereogram pane and I'm going to go and uh, back to Crystal Maker and try and arrange these two windows side by side. We can see uh, this live rotation between single crystal and Crystal Maker. So we rotate the crystal in Crystal Maker and we can see how the diffraction pattern changes in single crystal or we can rotate the diffraction pattern in single crystal and see the crystal rotate in Crystal Maker. And we can also specify particular view directions. Let's look down the C-axis and we can see the diffraction pattern changing. Now single crystal allows you to simulate more than just electron diffraction patterns. Let's have a quick look at a Lowy pattern. This is a simulated Lowy diffraction pattern. We can control the appearance of our peaks and uh, let's have slightly smaller reflections. Let's display the zero position on the diffraction pattern. We can change the appearance of the diffraction pattern by coloring, coloring it. Uh, I can color the reflections by wavelength since this is a white radiation diffraction pattern. Uh, I can color it by intensity uh, or I can color it by phase angle. So again we can rotate the crystal in Crystal Maker and see the corresponding diffraction pattern in single crystal. Now as with Crystal Diffract, single crystal also allows you to combine a simulated diffraction pattern with an observed diffraction pattern. And if you work with electron diffraction you'll find this particularly useful because the program can auto index transmission electron diffraction patterns. So that's a very quick overview of Crystal Maker and its diffraction capabilities via the two helper programs, Single Crystal Diffraction via Single Crystal and Powder Diffraction via our Crystal Diffract program.